Did you know that Kajabi has got a webinar feature built in where you can actually have your webinar show up on your own site? And not just the webinar, you can also have the live chat appear too, next to the video, and a buy button too. Everything you need to deliver a really professional presentation. You don't need to go paying for webinar software. Kajabi is all you need. And I'm going to show you how to set all this up correctly. And if you don't have Kajabi, seriously, you're missing out. And if you want to see just how much you're missing out on, I've put a link below. Gives you a free 30-day trial, so you can get started without it costing you a cent. So try it out. Setting up webinars in Kajabi is, well, it's actually pretty easy. Kajabi, it does all the heavy lifting for you. And I'm going to show you not only how to set up the webinar in Kajabi, but also the registration for the webinar, the email reminders for the webinar, and the full follow-up email sequence, the whole nine yards. And because I want your webinars to look, well, to look really cool, I'm going to show you a free piece of software that's, well, it's, it's a game changer when it comes to using webinars. It makes a huge difference. And I'll get to that shortly. But before we set this up, if you're going to do webinars to sell, let me give you a tip. The webinars, the ones that have the highest conversion rate, are the ones that actually deliver, they deliver some value. Whatever you do, don't be one of these douchebags that, that creates a sales pitch that offers absolutely no value whatsoever and then call it a webinar. Seriously, don't do that. They don't work. That's my rant over. Let's jump into Kajabi and set this up. Here we are in my Kajabi test account. To set up your webinar, we're going to create a pipeline. On the left, under marketing, we want pipelines. I'll select new pipeline. Now there's two ways to do webinars in Kajabi. If you use Zoom and you pay for the Zoom webinar feature, you can link Zoom to Kajabi by using this pipeline, the Zoom webinar OVO. It builds out the registration page, the confirmation page, the email sequence, the sales page, and of course the checkout page. But the actual webinar itself is delivered by Zoom. But likely, most of you won't have Zoom. And the whole point of this lesson is not having to go buying software that we don't really need, when we can do it for free. If we scroll down, click on Legacy Pipelines, and then select Webinar, we get a little bit of an insight into the pipeline up here. There's the founder of Kajabi, Kenny, giving you a little bit of an insight into the webinar pipeline. All we need to do to create the pipeline is click Create Pipeline. We need to fill out a little bit of information. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it Test Webinar. We need to select the type of webinar. We could have a pre-recorded webinar. We'll be talking a little bit more about pre-recorded webinars or evergreen webinars in another lesson. And because before you can really have a pre-recorded webinar, you have to have a live webinar to turn it into a pre-recorded webinar, it makes sense to do a live webinar first. So we'll select live webinar. We need to set the time for the webinar. I'll set it for tomorrow, which is January the 29th. And we'll set it for 7 p.m. And then click apply. Make sure your time zone is correct. And then here, under offer, you'd select the offer you wanted to sell. And I'm just going to leave this blank for the time being and I'll hit generate pipeline. Kajab is doing its thing in the background, building the pipeline. When it's done, you can see we've got a registration page here. We've got a confirmation page. We've got the webinar room and that's where your viewers are going to watch the video. And it's also added a sales page. Now, you don't have to use this sales page if you don't want to. If you've already got a sales page, you can use that. And we'll get to that later. So I'll scroll up here to the top and I'll click on the registration page, which is the first step in the pipeline. And when it loads, we could edit it. I could, I could click here and I could change the background image. I could change the headline by clicking on it. And I think, in fact, I think I will. I'll type in, I'll change the headline. I'll just highlight that. I'll change it to how to build an online business in only two weeks. And I'll just click save. Where headlines are concerned, I've found that benefit-based headlines, they work really well in a webinar. If I scroll further down, then here we've got the date format. We could alter it if we wanted. And if we scroll down even further, if we selected that, we could add a countdown timer. And of course, there's the sign-up button, reserve my spot. I'll just jump back. 
if we scroll down the page, there are other sections that we could fill in if we like. We could actually edit these if we wanted. We could add a little bit of text. We could add something down here on the footer. We could add another call to action button. Personally, I like to keep webinar registration pages clean and to the point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here in each one of these sections. I'm just going to click on the little three dots there and I'm going to click hide and we'll hide the text. And we'll hide the features. And now when we scroll down, all we've got is the headline, the countdown timer and the single call to action keeps it nice and clean. After we've made those changes, I'll just hit save and I'll jump back to the pipeline overview. From here, I'll just go into the confirmation page, which really is just a thank you for signing up page. And same as a registration page, you could customize this, add a video or an image if you wanted to. And remember, at this point, you've already got their email address. But in my opinion, I'd still keep it short. Just remind them of the benefit of attending the webinar, maybe a short video. We'll just go back to the pipeline overview. Right next, we'll just go to the webinar room. Now in the webinar room, this is where the magic happens. This black space here, this is where your video is going to appear. And next to it here, this is the live chat window. Now, if you don't want to include live chat, I'll just select it. And then you don't select show chat. Now I do want chat to appear, so I'll just select that. And there we go, it's back. So we've got our video here and then next to it, that's where the live chat's going to appear. So the question is, how do you get your live webinar to appear in this page? Well, if you're just doing talking head and then you're not sharing any slides or images or, or your desktop, you could just drop in the video ID from YouTube. But if you are sharing slides or your desktop or anything like that, there's a slightly different route that we need to take and we come into that. But for those simple direct to camera videos like this, what we have to do is jump over to YouTube. Now, you don't need to be a creator or have an active YouTube channel or anything like that. Just sign into YouTube with your Google account and then up here at the top on this little camera, click create and then click go live. Now, if this is your first time trying to go live, you may see a screen like this. You've just got to verify your phone number and then once YouTube is happy, they'll enable the go live feature. You've got to wait something like 24 hours to be verified. So make sure you do this in plenty of time before you go live. When you're verified, you're going to see a screen like this. We need a title. I'm just going to put in my first webinar. Now, of course, you're going to have to be a little bit more creative than that. For the description, I'm just going to leave that blank category. I'll just leave that on people and blogs for this example. Now we need a thumbnail. I'll just select upload thumbnail. I'll just pick anything. I'll just pick that. Now moving down, what you want to do, you want to make sure that you select, no, it's not made for kids. Because if you don't, YouTube won't allow you to have chat on your webinar. So we'll select that and then we'll click next. Now, if we come up here, we've got live chat ticked. If you want live chat to also appear on the replay, you need to select live chat replay. And it takes about 24 hours after the live for the chat to appear. Now, just so I'm clear, so you know what I'm talking about. After you've done the live, you can then use the recording that YouTube makes of the live for your automated webinars. So with those selected, I'll click next. Now, if you want to use chat, make sure you also set the privacy to either unlisted or public, not private. And since you want people only to view this via your webinar page on Kajabi, I'd recommend that you select unlisted. Then here, down here, we've got the time and the date. Now, it's really important that you get this time and date exactly the same as what you set up in Kajabi, which in my case, if you remember, was the 29th and it was at 7 p.m. So we'll just select 7 p.m. Got all those settings. Now we'll hit done. And now we get this confirmation page. And there's a couple of things that we've got to do on here. Before you get ahead of yourself and click done, make sure you come down here and you select the camera that you want to use for your webinar and also the microphone. Now, before we hit done, this little button here, share, we're going to click that. And then here is the video link. Now we don't want the full link, just the last part of it, which is this part here, just after the forward slash. So I'm going to select that and then copy it. Then we can close that. Now we can click done. And there we go. There's our webinar scheduled. If I jump back to Kajabi, we now need to insert the YouTube ID. What we want to do is go over to the webinar room. So I'll just scroll down, click on webinar room. And then if I come over here and select YouTube live, 
here under video ID, we just want to paste in the YouTube video ID. There we go. And you can see now we've added that, we get the YouTube thumbnail that appears here in the video placeholder. All I'm going to do now is click save and that's set up. That's all you need to do if you're doing talking head videos. But if you want to share your screen or present slides, then we need to take an extra step. Now, you could use programs like Ecamm if you're on the Mac or, or OBS, but there's an easy way. And what's really cool about it? Well, it's free. The easiest way is using StreamYard and you can use the free version. So I'm logged into my free account and this is really easy to set up. If I click create broadcast and then we want new broadcast and I've already added my YouTube account, so that's selected. First thing I've got to do is give it a title. We'll call it my first webinar. We need to enter a description. I'm just going to put learning about Kajabi. For privacy, I'm going to select unlisted. And then we want it scheduled for later. I'm going to upload a thumbnail image. We'll just select that one. Click open. Click apply. Then we need to schedule the start time, which was the 29th at 7 p.m. and then click create broadcast. And when I'm ready to go live, I'd just log into StreamYard and hit the enter studio button and present. And my audience, they'll see the broadcast in the Kajabi webinar room because we're going to connect StreamYard to Kajabi in a minute. So you understand what's happening here. When it's time to broadcast, you're presenting in StreamYard. StreamYard is then sending the video feed to YouTube. And because we've connected, or at least we're going to connect YouTube to Kajabi in a minute, your viewers are watching on your custom built webinar page. The reason we're doing it this way is StreamYard does more than you can do directly through YouTube. With StreamYard, you can share your desktop, you can share your slides, you can even add guest speakers if you like. So let's connect it up. We'll jump back over to StreamYard. To connect StreamYard to Kajabi, we need to get the video ID. If we come over here to these three little dots, select that and then click view on YouTube. The video ID that we need is up here in the URL bar. We need to copy everything after the little plus symbol. So I'm going to highlight it and I'll copy that. Jump back to the webinar room in Kajabi. We now need to paste in the video ID. So I'm going to come down to the YouTube live tab, select that and then the video ID. We're going to paste in the video ID and there we go. I'll click save and that's done. The webinar is now all set up. Now this can seem a lot if this is your first time. So I'll just summarize. You're going to be either presenting on YouTube directly or through StreamYard, but your audience, they're going to be watching you live on your Kajabi webinar page. Now I know it can get a little confusing if you've never done this before. We're still in the webinar room. Now the other element on this page that's really important is the buy button. Now, if you can't see the buy button, if you come over here, can you see this little this little eye icon that's got a cross through it? That means it's hidden. If I just come over to these three little dots, select that and then select show. And then I scroll down. The buy button now appears. Now, you can either have the buy button visible all the time below the video or if you wanted to. And a lot of people do this. You can time the buy button so it comes up at a specific time. If I select the buy button. And then scroll down here under offset. I'll just select seconds. I'll change that to minutes. And now I can decide how many minutes will pass before the buy button appears. So let's say I wanted the buy button to appear after, say, I don't know, 30 minutes. Let's say 30 minutes into the webinar, we want the buy button to appear. I'll just put 30 for 30 minutes. So I've got 30 minutes there in the offset field. Now, the one thing that you've got to make sure of. When you're presenting in the webinar and you say click the buy button below, you've got to make sure that the buy button is actually below. You've got to make sure that it's appeared. Otherwise, it's just going to be confusing. And lastly, on the buy button, if I just come up here under button action, currently it's set to go to a URL. Now, if you've already got a sales page that you want to use, what you would do in this field here, you'd insert the URL of the sales page that you want the buy button to send them to. But if you wanted to use the sales page, the one that's provided in the webinar pipeline, that's that one there. What you would need to do is come over to the button action and instead of having goal to URL, we'll just select that. You'd want to select goal to the next pipeline step.
Now, before we close out of this lesson, I just want to talk about the emails, the ones that Kajabi has created in the pipeline, the webinar email confirmation, the webinar reminders, and of course, the follow-up sequence. If I jump back to Kajabi, so here in the pipeline, if I click on this little blue icon, here are the emails. We've got the email that's sent at the time of registration. We've got another email that will be sent one hour before the event. We've got another email that's sent 15 minutes before the event. Then we've got the webinar. And then we've got a follow-up email which is sent currently at one day after the event. If I click on any of these emails, I can then edit it. Now, when you edit it, the thing you've got to make sure of, you don't want to, you don't want to remove this link here. That's important. That's the link that's going to get sent to your customers to join the webinar. And you don't want to mess with this time and date format in here. It's important that whatever you edit on this email, you leave those two items intact. Now, this is just a personal thing, but I like to change the timing of the emails. I like to have one go out the day before, one about two hours before, and then another one about an hour before, and then the last one about 15 minutes before. And even with all these emails, you're still going to have quite a few people not show up. That's normal. And that's why I like to add a couple more emails after the event to get those people who either didn't attend the webinar or who are still on the fence. I'd send one maybe a day later covering the benefits and then giving them a chance to buy. I'd then send another one maybe a couple of days after the webinar with a link to the webinar replay and a message saying something along the lines of you've only got X number of days to take advantage. And then I'd likely follow up again maybe five days after the webinar with a last chance email. Well, there you go. Did you find this lesson useful? If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you did like it, show me. Hit the like button. So until next time, bye for now.